What's up, everybody? I know it's been a couple of days. Um, I just needed a break. I was doing some other things, and anyway, I'm going to read today's message. <clears throat> oh, it's called Empowerment. You can think. You can make good decisions. You can make choices that are right for you. Yes, we all make mistakes from time to time, but we are not mistakes. We can make a new decision that takes a new information. Oh wait, we can make a new decision that takes new information into account. We can change our mind from time to time. That's our right to. We don't have to be intellectuals to make good choices. In recovery, we have a gift and a goal available to each of us. The gift is called wisdom. Other people can think too. And that means we no longer have to feel responsible for other people's decisions. Ooh, that was deep right there. And that also means we are responsible for our choices. You can do anything you want. You just got to be willing to live with the consequences of your actions. That's like from my, my friend that I always talk about. My, she was such a wise woman. All right, so we can reach out to others for feedback. We can ask for information. We can take opinions into account. But it is our task to make our own decisions. It is our pleasure and right to have our own opinions. We are each free to embrace and enjoy the treasure of our own mind, intellect, and wisdom. Today I will treasure the gift of my mind. I will do my own thinking, make my own choices, and value my opinion. I will be open to what others think, but I will take responsibility for myself. Nobody can make me feel any kind of way. It's my choice to stay angry, mad, sad, or glad, happy, whatever. That's a choice. I will ask for and trust that I am being guided by divine wisdom. Dang, that was a good one. Should I read it again? I just heard read it again. Maybe this, this last part? Yeah. This also means we are responsible for our choices. We can reach out to others for feedback. We can ask for information. We can take opinions into account, but it is our task to make our own decisions. It is our pleasure and right to have our own opinions. We are each free to embrace and enjoy the treasure of our own mind, intellect, and wisdom. Today, I will treasure the gift of my mind. I will do my own thinking, make my own choices, and value my opinions. Dang, I'll be open to what others think, but I will take responsibility for myself. I will ask for and trust that I'm being guided by divine wisdom. Yeah, because we don't want to be like be ruling with no iron fist or anything like that. You know, um, I don't know everything. You know, I hope that I always stay open. You know, it's, it's um, you know, I've been very stubborn at times, you know, and unwilling to listen, but it takes what it takes. And, and um, for me, you know, understanding that I don't know everything has been a big gift to myself, um, the willingness to listen to others' opinions, others' wisdom. Yeah. I just, I just heard, listen to what others, people's actions is saying, are saying to you. Listen to what other people's actions are saying to you. Dang. Now that's, don't let people say who they are. Let them show you who, who you are. Like, don't believe the words. What, what's that saying? Um, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Boom, pow. There it is right there. All right, give me the card for the collective today. Flow. This was the card that was at the bottom when I picked up the deck. Okay, so I'm getting like... Um, Wheel of Fortune. They showed me the Wheel of Fortune. So, and look, she's like creating. All right. So it's like heavy manifestation mode. Like this is like the time is now. Okay. I've been getting this forever is now. And I was even inspired this morning. If you guys are interested, you can, on Instagram, I get kind of personal. Not like, not that I don't get personal on YouTube, but it's just a different kind of way. Like, um, I share a lot of my writing. Like I, I do a lot of songwriting and poetry and and sometimes I'll post some of them up on Instagram. But this morning I was, I was, um, inspired to, um, it was about creation and forever is now. That was the name of the song. That's why I was like, why am I going there? That was why. Okay. So let's read this. 
20 below. All right. Okay, you see her making that, like creating. I feel like you're in control of your emotions. Maybe this has been a lesson that's been being taught to you, you know, becoming more real. Yeah, that's just what we were drink drinking about. <laughs> Maybe somebody's like quitting drinking or you've been using drinking as to control your emotions. And maybe you're learning, like maybe some of you are new, newly sober or something. So you're learning how to work through your emotions rather than drowning your emotions. And you may not be drinking, but maybe you do, um, you act out. I know like for me, like I have those kinds of things, like before it was drinking and drugging and then like it went to like eating or shopping or um, exercising or whatever. So I feel like people are learning how to work with their emotions. And that's like starting to understand that you are like, nobody can make you feel any type of way. It's a choice. And that's literally what we just read about. Whoa. Okay. So the essence, there is a natural movement of events in the world. You can see it in the phenomenon phenomena, such as the tide, the ebb and flow of oceans and rivers that rise up from the earth, then flow to the sea. The symbol of flow represents the effortless and natural movement toward a certain destination. It signifies an ability to gracefully move around obstacles and reminds you of the sense of allowing. Yeah, so yeah, nobody can make us feel any type of way. Just like, let them whirl. That's, you know, like, just watch them. You know, you can see them over there and just be like, oh, you know, just keep it moving, you know? <laughs> The invitation. When flow comes to visit, it's a sign that your intentions have been in motion. Now is the time to allow nature to run its course. You are being called to effortless movements and the path of least resistance. It's like being within music, flowing within partnerships. Think of the artist who creates without guile. I don't know. It's G-U-I-L-E. Tell me how to say it. <laughs> or craft calling creativity up from the soul and bringing it to life without effort. You are called to be like a river, knowing the, bleh, knowing the fulfillment of destiny is assured. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. So you're just like letting people do whatever. I feel like, yeah, it's the let go. I just started hearing, um, L, um, I'm forgetting her last name, but I was waiting on the let go. So I feel like You've stopped waiting for other people and you've just, you're like, shit, I'm in control now. Like I'm not in a, in a selfish or self-righteous way, but you've just recognized your own youth. I'm hearing youth and value. Wait, use and value. Um, you're worthy worthiness. Yeah. Nobody else. Like people are no longer dictating to you who you are or what you stand for or what you should be or how you, you should react. And you're no longer feeling the sense of having to prove who you are or what you're worth to anybody. It's like you are what you are. Okay. So the medicine, don't try to push against the river or swim upstream. Now you can trust that when the time is right, your dreams will begin to take shape and you will be invited to dance with destiny right now. However, you must relax. This is not the time to bang on doors that refuse to open. Whatever obstacle is in front of you right now, trust that it is for the highest good. It is an opportunity to regroup and reconsider your choices, and you must trust that your intentions will take form in good time. Consider this time as a gift. Yeah, so I feel like whatever is happening around you, people, places, and things, it's like maybe before you used to try to fight it or it's just like you, there's some sort of surrender here. Yeah. I just heard sweet surrender. There's a, there's a sweet surrender. Um, it's like, just like what this thing was saying. It's like, you realize like you've been fighting, fighting, fighting this thing and trying to make it, um, go your way. And then it's just like, pff, okay. Like it's like giving up, but not giving up as in, giving up as in you're getting depressed and you realize like you can't do life anymore. It's like giving up, surrendering to divine timing. There it is. Dang. That was a beautiful message, guys. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. See you soon.